Good morning, grade four. This is your English teacher, Miss Elisa. The date is Wednesday, March 18, 2020. Today's lesson is to acquire the irregular plurals. Let's review the meaning of a plural noun. Plural means more than one, and a noun is a name, place, or thing. Now, a plural noun usually ends with S, ES, or sometimes the word doesn't change. Directions. Read each sentence and circle the plural noun. Number one. How many loaves of bread did you buy? Number two. I usually add two tomatoes in my salad. Number three. Tornadoes cause a lot of damage to houses. Number four. Many big houses have patios. Number five. My grandfather has a lot of radios. Number six. A woman cleaned the hoofs of her horse. Number seven. The children were excited to learn English. Number eight. Every country has its own beliefs. Number nine. Why are your cuffs very dirty? Number ten. All the sheep were asleep in the barn. Now let's solve this exercise together. Loaves, tomatoes, tornadoes, patios, sheep, radios, hoof, children, beliefs, cuffs. In the first column, it says add. So this means that there are five words that have S at the end. What are they? Patios, radios, hoofs, beliefs, and cuffs. In the second column, it says change singular form. This means that the word changes completely from singular to plural form. For example, look at the word children. What is it in the singular form? Child. Good. And what about loaves? Loaf. In the third column, it says add ES. So what two words end in ES? Tomatoes and tornadoes. In the last column, it says no change. This means that the word stays the same in the singular and plural form. What is it? Sheep. Good. Look at different pictures and try to guess the correct spelling word. Patios. Children. Tomatoes. Hoofs, radio, cuffs, sheep, tornado, loaves, loaves, pieces of bread, tomatoes, red vegetables, radios, sound systems, patios, balcony, or porch, children, plural form of child, sheep, woolly animals, cuffs, and part of the sleeve, beliefs, values or ideals, hoofs, horses feet, tornadoes, windstorms. For homework, please study all the chart and do page 124. Thank you.